Mr. B. Danasega is working as a lecturer in Department of Information Technology, Anna University, Chennai. He finished his MCA from Urumu Dhanalakshmi College, Bharati Dasan University. He finished his ME in Computer Science and Engineering from College of Engineering, Anna University. His areas of interest are multi-core programming and architecture, programming models, compiler, automata theory, cryptography and algorithms. He is an expert in subjects like compiler design, formal languages and automata theory, analysis of algorithms. His research area is code generation for multi-core architecture. Welcome to the UG's lecture series on computer science. So here we have the subject called uh, theory of computation. In the previous episode, we have seen the definition for the pushdown automata and uh, how a pushdown automata is uh, represented by using the transition diagram. Also we have seen the construction of a pushdown automata for the language that is 0 power n followed by 1 power n which is a context free language. So, we know that the language of uh, the pushdown automata is same as the context free language which could be generated by the context free grammars. As far as this episode is concerned, we are going to study that is how we are deriving strings or how the PDA could be used for recognizing strings, recognizing strings or even deriving the strings. In the case of the grammar, we have there is the derivations which will start from the starting symbol of the grammar and successfully in every eight, there is derivation step, we will be replacing or we will be finding one variable and replacing it by the appropriate right hand side and finally, we will be getting a sentential form where we will be having only the terminal symbols. So, that is how we are deriving a string using the context free grammar. But whereas in the case of a push down automata, a similar kind of approach is followed. So, we will start from the starting symbol of the grammar, the starting symbol starting starting state of the push down automata and then once the string is accepted, we will be in the final state of the push down automata. But here we have to account the current state and what is available on the buffer and what is available on the stack. So, these three together we call it as the configuration of the push down automata or we will be calling it as the instantaneous description of the push down automata. That is how do we describe the configuration or how do we describe the state of the push down automata. The state of the push down automata if you want to describe then three components are mandatory. One is the current state of the push down automata and the second one is going to be the content available on the buffer. It is not just one symbol, it is going to be the entire content available on the buffer. And third one is once again the complete stack content which is used by the particular push down automata. So, these three together we can define the instantaneous description. So, for every PDA there will be initial configuration or initial ID. So, that ID comprises of what is the start state of the push down automata and what is the complete string that we have to recognize and what is the initial stack symbol available on the top of the stack. So, by combining these three, we will get the initial ID of the push down automata. Then based on the various transitions either available in the transition diagram or available in the transition function form. We just apply in a successive manner and finally, we will be left with a configuration and if that configuration is the final configuration, then we can say the string available in the buffer has been successfully recognized or it is there in the language of the automata. And if not, that is if we cannot reach the final configuration of the push down automata, then it means that the string is not there in the language. So, that is what we are going to study as far as this particular episode is concerned. Moreover, we have the definition for the language recognition by push down automata. There are two methods available, how it is recognized with the help of a, uh, that is the final state 
and another one is with the help of the empty stack. So, here we have the definition first of all how we are having the instantaneous description. So, id is going to be a triple first it is going to be q comma w comma gamma that is in general what is the current state and this w is actually what is the remaining input because we are not saying that this is initial configuration. So, this is the configuration at any point of time during the recognition of the entire string may be the string may be there is something like uh, x or y and after consuming some number of symbols from that x what we left is going to be w that is what we call it as w the remaining input and what is going to be there in the complete stack that is nothing but this gamma. So, gamma is the entire stack content which is available as a result of consuming some symbols from the prefix of the event string that is end a string may be the sum x. So, now this is the considered as the current configuration and suppose if your intention is seeing how the string is going to be recognized the PDA start from the first configuration or first id and it is moving from one id to another while recognizing or even computing whatever the question is or the problem is. So, now the question is how we are making use of these ids. So, first we should know what are the various components available in the Pushdown automata. So, here we have all the 7 components q that is the input alphabet. So, the first one is set of all states, input alphabet, stack alphabet, the transition function, starting state, starting stack symbol and then set of final states. Suppose, if you are having a transition function that is del of q comma a comma x gives as output p comma alpha. The reason why we are having that contains is your PDA may even be that is not deterministic. In that case, there may be more than one output possible. So, here we are talking about one of the output that is p comma alpha. So, that is what we are saying it is containing. So, del of q comma a comma x contains p comma alpha then for all strings w in sigma star and beta in gamma star. So, w is going to be the portion of actually we call it as the suffix of the string which we want to recognize. It is generated from the input alphabet that is the closure of the input alphabet that is sigma and then we will be having beta that is in gamma star that is once again the closure of the stack alphabet. So, beta is the closure of the stack alphabet and w is the closure of the input alphabet. So, then what will happen is, so the current configuration is q is the current state because we say that the transition function is defined from q and it is defined for the input symbol a. So, it means that it is going to consume this a, it does not mean that only a is there in the stack sorry buffer. So, it is going to consume a. So, that is the buffer content is supposed to start with a and followed by that we may have anything on this buffer. So, w is in the buffer with a as the current input symbol that is second component. The third component is once again the transition function is defined for x on top. So, here also we expect x on top. So, this does not mean only x is on the stack. So, we may have even more on the stack. So, what is there? So, beta is going to be there on the stack that is x beta where x is on top of the stack and beta just available and that is lower to this x. So, now if it is the current id and for this transition function how this id changes to a new id. So, it requires the computation of what is the output. So, p comma alpha is the output. So, p is transfer the resulting state and alpha is telling you what has been the change made for this x on the stack. So, the current state q has been changed to p and by default since the transition function is defined for a, a is consumed. So, what remains is w. So, the w is available here then this alpha tells you 
that is what is the change made for x. So, only the x is replaced by alpha always we can make change only on the top of the stack not below. So, the top of the stack x has been changed to alpha. So, the output is going to be p comma w comma alpha beta. So, this is obtained immediately after q comma a w comma x beta changing to p comma w comma alpha beta. The meaning is a is consumed and the x is replaced by alpha. So, this is how we are making use of the instantaneous descriptions, but this could be used for recognizing the strings. We shall consider the string and the PDA which we have constructed earlier for 0 power n followed by uh, that is 1 power n. So, we will be having an initial configuration for that particular push down automata q naught is the starting stage and suppose if you are having a string called 0 0 1 1 as a string to be validated then load that string 0 0 1 1 into the input buffer and let us assume is it not is the initial stack symbol. So, is it not as the third symbol or third component. So, by combining these three we can form the initial id for the push down automata. So, it is going to be q naught 0 0 1 1 and then followed by is it not and the in the concession we used q 2 as the final state. Suppose q 2 is the final state after accepting 0 0 followed by 1 1. So, we should get q 2 as the final that is the final configuration or the final instantaneous description or the id should have q 2 as the final state and no more symbol in the buffer. So, your buffer must be empty then the final configuration should tell what is on top of the stack. The top of the stack should be the initial stack symbol which is defined the definition for the push down automata. So, if these things are happening or these three things are obtained then we can say that string has been accepted. Let us see how the ids are various ids are used here. The initial configuration here is q naught 0 0 1 1 is it not and the first one the transition function what it says is if q naught comma 0 with the is it not on top of the stack we are consuming the first symbol and pushing 0 onto the stack. So, we will be having q naught there is no change of state as long as zeros are all there. So, the first 0 has been moved or pushed onto the stack the same thing is applicable even for the second 0 also. So, here we find the configuration q naught comma 0. So, if it is the case you push this second 0 on to the stack. So, now the stack has two number of zeros and what the buffer we have is only the remaining two number of ones. So, now what will happen suppose if the q naught comma 1 is the current that is intersection. So, here we have to recognize actually the intention is counting the number of zeros and ones. So, for every one we must remove one zero from the stack. So, first we are looking at q naught comma 1 the first zero that is the top stack symbol 0 should be removed out of the stack. So, we are popping this out. So, what remains here is 0 is it not then what will happen for the change of state the state should be changed because if you still stay back in q 0 there is a chance that once again it may consume zeros, but if you have more zeros there in this context then the string is suddenly not going to be of the form 0 power n followed by 1 power n. So, that is not allowed. So, it is actually stopped by changing the state from q naught to q 1. So, q 1 comma 1 once again the same story like the 1 must be removed out of the stack sorry buffer and the corresponding 0 from the stack must be popped out. So, this will give you the new configuration with nothing on the buffer and is it not on the top of the stack. So, here we have no more symbols for recognition or even no symbol for in the stack. So, what should be done there is you jump to the final state of the PDA that is q 2 without disturbing the stack content. 
So that will give you the final configuration of the PDA. We, are, we have reached the final stage. No symbol on the buffer with the initial stack symbol available on the that is stack. So you can say that the string 0, 0, 1, 1 is of the form 0 power n followed by 1 power n. So we shall continue after a short break. Welcome back. So we have seen how the strings are all recognized by the PDAs with the help of the instantaneous descriptions. So now the question is uh, just like how a context free grammar is used or the language of the context free grammar is defined. So for defining the language of the context free grammar we have a definition that is L of G is the set of all strings W such that there is a derivation from the start symbol of the grammar to the string which you want to verify whether there is it is there in the language of the grammar or not. So here instead of derivation we are making use of the instantaneous descriptions. So IDs are used. We start from the initial configuration and you can go up to the final configuration. If this is possible then we will say that the string is accepted. But here there is a different there is scenario the acceptance of a string by the position automata can be detected in two ways. One is with the help of the support from the final state alone and another one is with the help of the support from the stack alone. So there are two ways of accepting the languages one with the final state and another one with the stack. So we have two definitions for the recognition of the languages by the push down automata. So the first one that is by the final stage and the second one is going to be the empty stack. But whatever be the method of acceptance of the language by any PDA, the class of language recognized by those acceptances will be same. So there is no difference because whether the language is accepted by the final stage or by the empty stack the language is certainly going to be the context free language. So here is a definition how we are accepting the language by using the final state. So first you see that there is a PDA given for you which is called here as PF which tells the push down automata recognizing the language using the final state. So we are having the regular eight sorry seven number of components and now the question is how do we define the language. So L of P of is once again the set of all strings that is W but what is the condition? You start with the initial configuration for the PDA. As far as this PDA is concerned the initial configuration should have the start state that is Q0, start stack symbol Z0. So it is Q0 is first component, Z0 is the third component and then which is a string we want to verify whether there is it is there in the language or not it is W. So these are the three components in the initial configuration Q0, W and Z0. Now we go for generating the sequence of IDs and finally what we wanted to have because it is going to be an acceptance by final state the state is going to be very 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 important and we do not mind out mind about what is there in the stack. So here you look at that that is the stack has alpha. So alpha is actually from gamma star. So we do not mind about what is there in the stack. But we must be very clear that there is nothing in the buffer that is a very important condition. Then only we can say that the whole string has been recognized. And another important thing is we should be in the final state of the push down automata. So the final configuration here we arrive is p comma epsilon comma alpha condition for p is it should be in f that is the set of all accepting or final states and alpha alpha should be in gamma star and because since we find that the final state has been reached so should we bother about what is there in the stack it is not at all a question so whatever we have on the stack it is not having any significance once we have reached the final state and there is no more symbol available on the buffer. 
So this is one definition which will tell you that is how a string has been recognized by a pushdown automata by reaching the final state of the pushdown automata. The next method what it says is how we are recognizing a string without bothering what is the state where we are but seeing what is there in the stack. So we find that there is a correspondence in between the context free grammar as well as on the pushdown automata. So as far as context free grammar is concerned it is using the derivations for recognizing strings whereas in the case of PDA it is recognizing strings by using the states. So in the case of context free grammar we do not have a concept of state that is with respect to the derivations. So when there is a need for equating the context free grammar with the pushdown automata so the states are losing their significances. So there is a need for defining the language even in the absence of or even in the that is major role played by the states. So how we will do that? So we will ensure that the stack becomes empty after recognizing the string in a successful manner. So it is strictly required that irrespective of whatever be the state we are when there is no more symbol in the buffer we must have an empty stack or a null stack then we can say that the string has been accepted by using the empty stack. So that is the definition which follows here. So here we have another pushdown automata we say it is pn. We are calling it as pn only because of the language is going to be recognized by an empty stack or a null stack. Usually we are having all the 7 components. Since the final state concept is not at all significant it is not required to have the seventh component that is f as far as the description is concerned. Either you can strike out or you can even simply remove that. So if a pushdown automata is recognized or are represented by using only six components, it is obvious that it is not having a final state which means this is a PDA recognizing the language always using the empty stack. So now look at the definition how it is recognizing n of pn that is the null stack representation or a PDA whose language is declared or uh, accepted by using the null stack is set of all w that is set of all strings w. The starting configuration is same as the starting configuration for an acceptance by final state. There is no difference. So it is q0 initial state w the string to be recognized which is here and is it not the top stack symbol and finally we should reach p comma epsilon comma epsilon. So no symbol on the buffer and no symbol on the stack. So if this is the final configuration immediately we can say that the string has been accepted irrespective of whatever be the state we are in. So you just look at the condition here p is in q that is all. So p is any state from the set of all states available in the pushdown automata rather than saying that it should be in f or it should be somewhere else. So this is how we are recognizing the language by using the empty stack. So two methods first one using the final state recognition and the second one with the help of the empty stack recognition. Already we have seen there is no difference in between the language or the class of language recognized by both the empty stack representation as well as the final state recognition. So there should be always some equivalence in between the language recognition by a final state or the language and the language recognition by the empty stack. So how do you find out the equivalence? That is given a pushdown automata which recognizes the language by using the final state, how do you transform it into a pushdown automata recognizing the language using the empty stack. Another one is given a pushdown automata which recognizes the language by using null stack, how do we convert it into a pushdown automata which recognizes the language using the final state. So these two are very important. So if these equivalences are there then only we can claim that the language recognized whether it is going to be the final state recognition or it is going to be empty stack recognition it should always be a context free language. So here we have the that is conversion 
which is taking from P n to P f that is a null stack recognition to the final state recognition. So, the idea behind the null stack recognition to the final state, state recognition is, so once we find that your P d a has reached the final state that is by seeing that the stack content is empty and the buffer content is also empty irrespective of whatever be the state your p n will accept the string, but not the p n p f. So, if you want to make that particular configuration as the final configuration or if you want to jump to the current final configuration to the final configuration of a p d a accepting the language using final state, we must add one more transition that will make a jump from the current final configuration of the p n to the final configuration of p f. So, it requires a new definition or a new state be introduced and that state will be considered as the final state of the push down automata which is recognizing the language using the uh, that is the um, final state and from the final state of the p n we jump to the final state of the p f. So, that is the uh, that is last, last option and at the same time similar kind of uh, that is adjustment must be done even in the beginning also. So, two different automata one is p n and one is p f there should be two different initial configurations. So, the initial configuration of the p f should have some option to jump to the initial configuration of p n, but the very important factor here to remember is the buffer content that is the string which we want to recognize should never be altered or never be disturbed when we are moving, moving from the initial state of the p f to the initial state of the p n. So, once this transition is done then immediately the p n will take care of the recognition of the entire string. So, make a jump from the initial state of the p f to p n the p n will recognize the string and then make a jump from the final state of the p n to the in final state of the p f. So, by writing two new sets of transitions it is possible to convert any push down automata recognizing the language by using the empty stack to an equivalent push down automata recognizing the language using the final state. The two new states are introduced and few sets of transitions are all introduced. So, that will enable us to move from the final state or p n to p f. A similar approach is even followed for the reverse conversion also that is given a p f how do you transform it into p n. So, p f we will reach the final state no matter what the content of the stack is. So, for recognizing the same with the help of the final that is empty stack it is required to do some iteration over the stack content and during that various iterations we will remove one symbol from the stack and this iteration repeats until we reach a state where we have nothing on the stack. So, then we can say that the string is accepted by even by the empty stack also. So, whether the p d a is given in the form of p f or p d a in the form of p n whatever it is we will be able to find out an equivalence by doing these kind of uh, that is extra transitions as well as extra states. So, we will be able to find out the equivalence. So, the let us summarize what we are having as far as this episode is concerned. So, we have seen how a push in automata is recognizing its string from its language. Actually, we have used the instantaneous descriptions for deriving the strings from the initial configuration. Also, we have seen two methods for recognizing the languages that is it is actually the empty stack recognition as well as the final state recognition. As far as the questions are concerned, uh, what is the meaning of that instantaneous description? how it is equivalent with uh, that is the derivations and why do we use that. So, how we are defining the various languages described by the post in automaton and the next one is how the p d a is recognizing language by empty stack is converted into a p d a accepting the same language using the final state. The question can even be reversed how the, the language or when you are given a p d a which is accepting the language by using final state how it is converted into an equivalent p d a accepting the language by using that uh, that is empty stack also. So, both kind of questions are possible. 
also we may have questions even for constructing the push down automata meta either by accepting the language by using final state or by accepting the language using the empty stack these are all the possible questions as far as this particular episode is concerned i'll conclude this lecture thank you all